I'd just like to thank uh, Mark Davis, uh, thank Mrs. Davis for this opportunity. Um, I used to get phone calls from Al Davis at 3 a.m. Now I get them from Mark Davis at 3 a.m. But I want to thank you for this opportunity from the bottom of my heart. I want to thank you, Cindy, my wife, my three sons, for supporting me uh, in going after this opportunity. And it takes a family effort, I think, to be all in on something like this. And I'd also really like to thank all of the Raider players that are here today. Uh, I saw Charles Woodson. Brady fumbled that ball. <laughs> Tim Brown, Howie Long, Russell Maryland, Eric Allen, Jerry Rice, Jim Otto, Ted Hendricks. Uh, it's, it's about the people for me. And that's a big reason that I'm here today. Obviously, this is very emotional for me. I never wanted to leave the Raiders. I never thought I'd be back. But here I am, and I'm ready to get to work. And I just want to say that there's really uh, four major reasons that I am here coaching today. And number one, I love football. I love the players that play it. I love the preparation. I love the journey. Love football. And I love the city of Oakland. I had a son here. Um, some of my great memories in life are in Oakland. And I want to give them two of the best years of football that I can possibly help deliver. And I love the Raiders. The brand is global. Everywhere I went as a Monday Night Football analyst, the Raider Nation would come out of the ground. I love the Raiders. And most of all, I love to win. And I'm going to do everything I can. No guarantees, no promises, but I want to win. I look forward to working with Reggie and his staff. We've got a lot of work to do. We've hired three coordinators already. Paul Gunther from the Cincinnati Bengals is official. Great addition to our football team. Rich Bisaccia will be our special teams coordinator from the Dallas Cowboys. And Greg Olson will be our offensive coordinator coming over from the LA Rams. Uh, so I can't wait to get started. And it's an emotional time for me, but I'll answer any questions I can. Thank you. There's a real trick when you become a head coach. You can't just go get the guys you want because they're under contract. A lot of these guys are head coaches now, the guys that you worked with. But over the years, uh, I have always tried to keep a close group of friends and people that I have a high respect for on red alert, just in case uh, an opportunity did arise. And Rich Bisaccia was our special teams coach when we won the Super Bowl. Uh, he's a special teams coach of the Dallas Cowboys. He's a versatile coach. He coached two positions for me in Tampa. He was a running back coach and the special teams coach. Um, great leader of men. He'll do an outstanding job here. Paul Gunther, I met Paul Gunther when my brother was the offensive coordinator of the Bengals. I love the way the Bengals play defense. Up the field, single gap, get after you. Uh, Mike Zimmer, who left Cincinnati, went to Minnesota. I think we all agree they're quite a defensive team. He's a great teacher. He's been able to get a lot out of players. Vontez Burfik, undrafted out of Arizona State, became a star player. Uh, he can coach coaches. He can coach a lot of different situations to a high level. And Greg Olson coached Derek Carr for a year here. Uh, his intel there will be very important. Uh, he coached with me in Tampa. And he coached with Sean McVay, one of my ex-assistants in L.A. Uh, so the system of football that we run uh, there will be a real natural flow. But I am thrilled to have these three coaches. We've got to hire some others this week, and we've got a number of interviews slated starting tomorrow morning. How has the game changed, in your opinion? Has it changed that much? And how much are you going to have to adjust from the coach you were 20 years ago? 20? I mean, I'm not that old, Carl. I mean, <laughs> um, Look, what has changed is the collective bargaining agreement has changed the way we practice, the way we conduct ourselves in the offseason. Uh, obviously, the rules have changed. Player safety has now emerged as a critical part of the game. I paid very close attention to it. Um, I have a lot to prove. There's no question. I have not coached since 2008. I haven't won a game since 2008. I haven't lost any either. So I just want to keep that in perspective. I've got to hire a great coaching staff. That's been the number one uh, criteria that I've tried to 
bring every place that I've been as a head coach. It's about the people. It's about the staff. It's about the tempo that we establish as a coaching staff. So uh, with that said, I got a lot to prove. I know that. But the game is still uh, decided by players between the lines, and we all have to adapt every year. What we've seen of you in the last week with Derek Carr is you and him with the camp many years ago. You've met him now. Uh, talk about what you've seen in his maturation development and how what you're looking forward to working with him and what you think about him now as compared to then. Well, my feelings are similar. He has a great arm talent. He's athletic. He's got natural leadership skills. He's young. He's in his prime. He's healthy now. He's, I think, been in a lot of different systems. He's played for a number of different quarterbacks. There has not been a lot of continuity around him that way. I think he's got a huge upside. I think um, with Greg Olson and the system that we're going to put in place is going to demand a lot from him, and I think that's what's going to unlock the greatness in him. But um, very, very excited to have him as our quarterback. Again, um, if Marshawn Lynch wants to come back next season, do you see him fitting into your scheme and what do you want to, and what you want to do offensively? You know, I've never met Marshawn Lynch. Um, even as a broadcaster, I asked for Marshawn Lynch in production meetings. I never got to meet him. <laughs> so uh, I'm anxious to sit down with Marshawn and meet him. And uh, we'll talk about his future and the Raiders. I can't wait. He came back to the Raiders for similar, I think, reasons that I did. I think he loves Oakland. I think he loves the Raiders. And guys like him interest me. So I'm looking forward to talking to him. Hi, Rick Tittle with 95.7 The Game, the home of the Raiders. And this is for Reggie, too. You mentioned personnel. How much are you going to be involved in personnel decisions? Or are you just going to coach? Well, we're going to work together. Uh, Reggie and I come from the same tree in Green Bay, uh, raised by Ron Wolf as young Green Bay Packers. I think we have a similar viewpoint in terms of what kind of players we're looking for. But it's got to be a collaborative effort whether it be a salary cap decision, a free agent acquisition, who we draft, mm -hmm. we got to work together. Yeah. And I think that's the great thing about being here is we're going to be united, we're going to work hard, and we're going to assemble the best team possible. We're not always going to agree, and Reg, you'll probably win. Look at the size of the guy. Uh, <laughs> but you know what? Uh, I, I don't want to agree with everybody. You know, I, I really want to work hard, and I want to try to uh, pursue every vehicle possible to improve the Raiders. John, Tim Kawakami, The Athletic. Uh, the reported terms of this deal are 10 years, $100 million. Is that close to accurate? And if it is, how do you make yourself worth $100 million? I don't have a guarantee to be alive for 10 years, just so people know. Um, Mark has told me that we're not getting ownership of the team, so I am happy to report that today. But uh, I don't really know the terms. All I know is this year I'm going to be coaching in Oakland. And next year, I'm going to be coaching in Oakland. And I want to help deliver the best football team we can for the people here in Oakland. And uh, how long I stay here will be determined by how well we play. Being away from the game the last few years, what do you think are the most important things you've learned seeing things from the other side? Look, I've got to see uh, every facility in the league. I've had a chance to uh, watch them practice see how they conduct training camps. I've had a chance to learn some things and see some things that I would have never gotten to see as a coach. And uh, I've had a chance to study different offenses, different defenses, and I've had a chance to get into personnel more. So I think I'm more big picture now than I was in the past, but I still want to be very detailed in terms of how we play offense. I still want to be very involved in how we move the football. But uh, I have had some opportunities that are unique and I think beneficial as a, as a broadcaster. You joked with Charles when you got in here about that was a fumble. Did you, do you feel that you have unfinished business here? And has, how much has that kind of gnawed at you over the last, uh, what was it, 15 years, 10 years? <laughs> it's great to see you again, Ann. Uh, thanks for bringing up the tuck rule and how old we are. It's great. Um, <laughs> Yeah, it, there is unfinished business. And, and as a coach, you know, I was traded. I've been fired. I've missed the game terribly, but I've really missed the Raiders. And uh, for my career to end on that night in, in New England, it still ticks me off. And um, I'm just I'm so thrilled to be back here. I hope 
uh, people understand the emotion inside of me. I feel unfinished business. I also feel a lot of loyalty, and uh, I feel a lot of responsibility to get the Raiders going again. And it's been a while since um, we've consistently performed at a high level, and that's really all I care about. I'm going to do everything I can to help this team get right again. This is your first pick in 1998. Uh, Charles Woodson, I'm with uh, the Oakland Raider alumni. All of us just want to know, is there a no trade clause in your deal? <laughs> You're going to make me want to go home, Charles, back to Florida. Uh, there is a no trade clause. And all I want to say to you guys is, is I want to say this to you guys, all of you. It means the world to me that you're here. And uh, you're welcome. As long as I'm the head coach, all of you are welcome here. I want you guys to be a big part of this uh, Raider organization. And uh, I thank you from the bottom of my heart for your attendance here today. Some of you guys were actually on time, unlike <laughs> when I was coaching here. But there's a lot of young players out there, I know this, uh, that have untapped potential. And we have to tap it as soon as they walk in these doors, and I need your help to do that. But thank you guys for being here.